The old house sat upon the hill like a skeletal sentinel, its cracked windows staring blankly at the world below. For years, it had stood empty, a monument to a forgotten past. But tonight, the silence within its walls would be broken. Inside, amidst dust and cobwebs, Sarah shivered. She had always been drawn to the old house, fascinated by its secrets. Tonight, she had finally decided to investigate, fueled by a mixture of curiosity and foolish bravery. The moon cast an eerie glow upon the dusty floorboards as Sarah ventured deeper into the house. Each creaking floorboard sent a jolt through her, each unseen rustle in the shadows making her heart skip a beat. She reached the top floor, where the air grew colder and the silence thicker. The only sound was her own ragged breathing, echoing in the empty rooms. Suddenly, Sarah felt it. A presence. A coldness that seemed to emanate from the very walls themselves. Panic surged through her. She stumbled back, knocking over a dusty vase that shattered with a loud crash. The sound seemed to reverberate throughout the house, amplifying the silence that followed. Then, she heard it. A faint whisper, barely audible over the pounding of her own heart. It seemed to come from the shadows, beckoning her closer. Sarah took a tentative step forward, then another, drawn by a force she couldn't explain. The whispering grew louder, clearer. It sounded like a man's voice, low and gravelly, speaking words she couldn't understand. Terror gripped her, but she couldn't stop herself. She had to know what was in the shadows. She reached a doorway and peered inside. The room beyond was pitch black, but the whispering seemed to emanate from within. Taking a deep breath, Sarah pushed open the door. The darkness inside was oppressive, suffocating. She could see nothing, but the feeling of the unseen presence was overwhelming. The whispering had become a chant, a chorus of voices that filled her head with madness. Suddenly, something brushed past her. A cold, clammy hand gripped her wrist. She screamed, a desperate, primal cry that echoed through the empty house. She tried to pull away, but the grip was strong, icy cold. The unseen entity dragged her deeper into the darkness, its chanting filling her ears. Panic turned into despair. She knew then that she wouldn't escape the clutches of the unseen visitor. She would become one of the forgotten souls trapped within the walls of the old house forever lost in its darkness. Sarah's screams were swallowed by the silence of the night. The old house stood silent once more, its secrets hidden deep within its shadows, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul to stumble upon its doorstep. The old Victorian mansion on the hill was shrouded in an air of mystery, its peeling paint and boarded up windows spoke of a long forgotten past and the locals whispered of strange happenings within its darkened halls. But for young Amelia, it was more than just an abandoned house. It was a beacon of curiosity, a place where secrets whispered in the wind. One day, driven by an insatiable desire to explore the unknown, Amelia ventured into the forbidden house. The air was thick with dust, and the silence was broken only by her own cautious footsteps. As she pushed open a creaking door, a wave of icy air washed over her, sending shivers down her spine. In the dimly lit room, she saw a dusty rocking chair slowly creaking back and forth, as if pushed by an unseen hand. Fear threatened to consume Amelia, but her curiosity was stronger. 
she ventured deeper into the house, each room revealing a new mystery. A dusty mirror reflected a figure that wasn't there. A child's laughter echoed through the empty halls, and cold fingers brushed against her cheek in the darkness. Days turned into weeks, and Amelia became a regular visitor to the abandoned house. She was no longer afraid, instead. She felt drawn to the unseen presence that seemed to welcome her. She spent hours talking to the empty air, pouring her heart out to the entity that only she could perceive. One evening, a storm raged outside, and Amelia took shelter inside the house. The wind howled through the broken windows, and the rain lashed against the walls. As she sat by the fireplace, she felt a warm hand reach out and touch hers. She looked up, but saw no one. Then, a voice spoke in her ear, a voice that was both gentle and chilling. Don't be afraid, Amelia, it said. I'm here for you. Amelia felt a sense of peace wash over her. The fear that had once gripped her was gone. She knew with absolute certainty that she was no longer alone. From that day on, Amelia and the unseen visitor became inseparable. They spent their days exploring the house, sharing stories and laughing together. Amelia even began to see the entity, a shadowy figure that took the form of a young woman. The unseen visitor became Amelia's confidant, her best friend and her only companion in the world. But as time passed, Amelia noticed a change in the entity. The once warm touch became cold, the gentle voice turned harsh, and the laughter became filled with malice. One day, the unseen visitor revealed its true intentions. It had been feeding off Amelia's fear and loneliness, growing stronger with each passing day. Now, it was ready to claim her for its own. Amelia was horrified. She had trusted the entity, opened her heart to it, only to be betrayed. She tried to run, but it was too late. The unseen visitor wrapped its cold arms around her, draining the life from her body. When the storm finally subsided, the old Victorian mansion stood silent on the hill. Inside, Amelia lay lifeless on the floor, her eyes wide open with fear. The unseen visitor, now stronger than ever, watched from the shadows, ready to claim its next victim. The old Victorian mansion on the hill remains a place of mystery and terror. The locals still speak of strange happenings within its walls, and some even claim to hear the laughter of a young girl echoing from the empty rooms. But only Amelia knows the truth of what lies within, a truth that will forever remain hidden in the dark.